We have some really big news. I actually just sold a two plus million dollar car, which kind of made sense because I got the brand new Pagani Roadster that is probably the best spec in the entire collection. And the blue one is now gone, but I did something really cool. I was able to basically straight up trade that for two new hypercars. Now we're gonna unreveal, or we're gonna unveil one of them right now for you. And this one is like near and dear to my heart. I'm so glad that this one is back first. We had uh, Chicago Auto Pros over here do a couple things to the vehicle and we'll show and go over that in a little bit, but this is an awesome spec. You guys are gonna love this car. I've been picky about this specific car because it means so much to me. Very picky. We had one in the condo a few weeks ago. I shot it down. Tommy really loved I it. It had trying. an exhaust, it had HRE wheels. I'm like, I'm just not in love with it. I so, think this is the right car. This one is great. I've already it's driven awesome. it. Just gonna reveal that. And it <laughs> felt so good. So good. Should we check it out? Let's check it out. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh, oh there it is. Kidding. Just kidding. Here oh, there it is. is. This we, is it. We camo wrapped it. All right, and there is the car, folks. Now, that might look like my old Bugatti, but it's actually, no, I'm just kidding. This is, this is not the car. We're gonna show you in just a second. I actually had this thing fully PPF'd because, long story short, we were trying to sell it. It didn't sell. One of these other hypercars that I have, we're gonna reveal that one next video. So one of the two. You're just seeing one of them today, but the other one made me have to keep this. So now I'm keeping this thing. I had to get it re-PPF'd because we took the PPF off because it did its job. And let me tell you, this is Expel brand PPF that we put on here and we've been putting that on all of our cars. And this stuff has saved a, a freaking bunch of rock chip scratches. Like in this door sill here, we let so many people come in and experience this car. It got really scratched up. And I remember asking Tommy, like, I'm like, this one had PPF, right? He's like, yeah, peeled it off, there's nothing. Like it's immaculately clean underneath. So there were rock chips in the wing too, because the air yeah. brake, we had, had that replaced. The 918 had a door ding that like was, yes. there was no damage at all. It actually yes. saved our butts. PPF is a lifesaver and Expel builds really good product. We're gonna continue using them for all of our future cars. And you can, I mean, they work for any application too. Like if you have an Escalade, if you have a, a Chevy, like there's, there's, it's really good idea to PPF, if, if not the full car, at least do the front end or like high areas like your mirrors or spoilers areas that have a lot of impact from road debris and stuff anyway just wanted to show you the bugatti because i'm very happy to have it back and please watch this next video that should come out shortly after this one um let's go see the real car that let's we're do it. Let's, let's see the reason that we're here no there's not a door over there there's not let's go we're this gonna way. have to go that way <laughs> i am standing right next to the car and it looks so good the, the folks over here at chicago auto pros always do an awesome job detailing and getting the cars ready when we come in here they're immaculate now the paint on this car is so big badass and I hope this camera captures it. They actually use diamond flake inside of this metallic paint and even in here where there's the lighting is so so you can see a crazy amount of sparkle. So we're gonna reveal the brand new car. Honestly, like it's like a piece of me was missing when I didn't have this because when I got it back, it just re-elevated me when I'm driving and I'm like, oh my gosh, I am so thankful and glad to have a Senna again. That is not gonna get wrecked, folks. This one is not gonna get wrecked because I'm gonna be a little bit more picky about who drives this particular car. We, there's like some, I don't know, there's some bad juju in with Senna's right now. We're gonna have to wait a little bit on that. But some of the factory wrapping uh, that happened was it had the factory red caps with the red brake calipers. And then what other red was around at factory besides the caps and calipers? Was this, were the center logos down there red? Nothing. It was just, that just it that. was just brake calipers, center and locks, and then the interior. That were the only original red portion. Center caps, brakes, stitching, seatbelts. And the struts, actually, those were red too. So we wanted to add a couple more bits of red. And of course we took it here to our partners at Chicago Auto Pros. And we had the front air brakes. This one kind of pays homage to my old Senna where we had lime green air brakes. And I think that that's super tasteful. So those we wrapped to match the rest of the vehicle. Look at the paint, man. Like, look at that. This is, I don't know that we ever had it clean. No. Like when I got it a few days ago, it wasn't clean. Like this is Not like this. So crazy. this paint is a $77,000 McLaren option. It's called MSO Diamond Black. This is the only Senna in the world in this paint. I think you nailed it. As I yes. know Steve in other videos has said that he wants to get start getting higher end spec hypercars and getting a little more picky and decisive. And I think you nailed it. Like this is out of the yes. park. Looks so and, good. And the one that's in, the other one is in service right now. That's why we can't show it in this video. But wait till you see how awesome that thing is going to look when we're done. I already ordered some wheels for it. So they're going to be here 
by the time we show that, but I was so pumped about it. I like these wheels. These aren't going anywhere. The other vehicle, not a big fan of the wheels, so we ordered some wheels from Boston, and the next Hyper reveal is gonna be really amazing. But let me show you the other red accents on the back that we added. So we added some of the, what do they call this logo? It's like They're the, the Kiwis. It's McLaren's Kiwi. Racing. Yeah, McLaren's yes. Racing Kiwi. McLaren Racing Kiwi. We added the red Senna decal on the back wing, and then we also added the red Senna decal here. And it did already have the, the classic Senna signature on the carbon type, uh, fiber tub, so that was included. And then I suggested that we add, this was literally my only suggestion that we <laughs> add them on. It doesn't look as bad in person. I think they would look better I with I suggested them off. we add these and, um, and Tommy, Tommy wasn't a Tommy, do the honors that. of ripping it off. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, he's like, ah, oh, I don't I'll know about see. that. I don't know, yeah, you could probably, you could sad. probably. They look a little funky. I think with this, we don't need these. Yes, uh, yeah, I, I think that those should come off. Take them yeah, off. Take if, it this off. Is, if I take these off, then you're discounting them, right? Yeah. We're getting, just kidding. <laughs> Since we're not keeping them, they're going to yes. charge Steve less. These are probably going to be I a lot that harder. Was the thing I took them the least of time to do. This one? Good. Yeah. Good, because they got to go bye bye. Can't win them all. Oh, man. We're already here. We just got it. We're already ripping it off. Boom. Tommy already won. Love it. <laughs> that is amazing. It wouldn't be a Chicago <laughs> Auto Pros experience <laughs> without Justin providing us with a beautiful. They got us. I told Justin I love Portillo's cake. Well, that's what the food that they would always have here was Portillo's. Guys, so this is this is why we Thank come to Auto Pros. <laughs> Who else does this? How cute is that? Uh, I'm looking at it with. Oh gosh, did we make the right move, Tommy? No, for sure. <laughs> Thank for you, sure. Natalia. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, that looks much better. <laughs> I can't wait. To Are they in my this. hood? I don't even see them in there. Oh don't well. Worry about it. What, in there. what is I happening? I don't know. I don't know. No, for sure. For sure. All right, all right. Well, you agree, right? It looks better. All right. But the wheels are one of the most different things. Like, you don't see polished wheels on a Senna. Like, this no. one, I've, I've actually, this one has been online before. I remember looking at it a while ago, and it was too expensive. Really low miles, by the way, 500 miles. So we're going to rack up the miles, of course. I think I ended up putting 5,000 miles on the other Senna before <laughs> we're it gonna, was wrecked. 6,000. We're going to double that. We're going to double these miles in, like, two weeks. Yes. Pictures online don't do these wheels justice in person. No, they don't. Or it's, the paint. It's more like a brush. Or the it's paint, brush too. Than a polish. The paint is crazy. Yeah. I know, that's nuts. It looks wild. Besides like the normal stuff like paint and interior, like what's the difference? Is there any options different based off your other one? It has leather inside seats and steering wheel beside, uh, outside of Alcantara, so that was something different. The steering okay. wheel, I think I like Alcantara a little bit better, but like, Agreed. I feel like the leather's a little more comfy. It yeah. could be wrong. It's much easier to get in and out of these seats with other two because you can slide it easier doesn't into them. It doesn't grab you as yeah. you get in too. As always, I do love McLaren's user interface, great system there. It was so fun to drive this. It is almost as stiff as the other one, but again, the seats are a little more forgiving on that. Front bumpers at the Hamilton collection get really messed up, usually because <laughs> I'm either forgetful or too lazy to enter at an angle. That's what she said. And um, yeah, it's deceivingly like in pictures, this thing looks blue and it is absolutely not blue. It is a black paint with diamond flake. Like there's not a hint of blue. So don't be deceived if that's what you see. Thanks for putting the cake on the wing. I remember Tommy was trying to put red vi uh, pinstripes on this. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. That no? looks a little too much. Tommy wanted to do a bunch of pinstripes on the back. No, I'm like, not a bunch, not a bunch. Yeah, you literally, did. All, all it was going to be was a pinstripe here and then down that side splitter. I was going to do like a little one. I'll show a photo on screen. Not a bunch, just here, there, no, there, like back. This, this right there. And the back splitter. And then just vertically in the back splitter. That is a bunch, No, dude. it's not. It's, let me know what y'all think. Take a look at the spec that he found. Let me know if you think that we should have done that with all the other stuff that's already done. Because we can still add it. Comment if I'm wrong. Yeah. It can still be added or peeled off if we don't like it. I think it would have been a little ricey. Oh, we we shoot. did it on the Senna already with the pink, and we kind of know what it already. Yeah. No, like. but that was way that was way more on that side. But Senna. it would have been Gooch? thicker. I like the Kiwis a lot. I know that's a great touch. Yeah, raise your hand Me if too. that was your idea. Oh shoot! No, yeah. <laughs> that's my idea. Shall we take it for a drive? Twenty minutes later. So first difference on the interior, silver trim. Second difference, leather, leather steering wheel. I love this 12 o'clock mark. That's one of my favorite. It's like such a small thing. Like the GT3 RS has. But the 3 RS, the LT has it. It's yep. so cool. This is such a cool feature. I always take for granted how freaking cool the doors are in this car. 
They are. There's the, no. The there's first no. time I drove it, I was like, my mind like blew up. I was like, what am I looking at? Same. And I, then and then you get used to it. But like having not been in one for months now, being like looking this direction, just seeing the yes. ground right there is such a unique experience. Yep. And this was picked up from Chicago Motor Cars. Our boy Perrin over there helped us get this two car deal done. And funny story is the very first Senna that I drove was one of their cars. It was like this dark forest green I example. I didn't like the color, but that was when I fell in love with the McLaren Senna. So thank you, Chicago Motor Cars, for helping us out with this. Thank you, Perrin. I, I love how this one instantly is rattling everywhere, just like the other Senna. Ah, start. Really, start, stop on this car. Freaking Senna. Where is it? I forgot. It gets four miles to the gallon. So what are you feeling right now? Your first time um, back in I mean, in like, the Senna, first like... time in it, and then when I was driving it the first time, like, it, it feels amazing. Like, it, it felt like it completed me again. It was such a bummer not having a Senna. Like, you know, we went through, and you guys should check out the, the vlog on the Senna. We did three different vlogs on when it got wrecked and what we figured out. And, like, I was really hoping the thing was fixable. I loved that spec, and I wanted to keep that Senna, but ultimately they said that, that the cock uh, was too cracked, and it wouldn't been able it to been restored to fully erect cock. Yeah. So... It was disformed and it would never yeah. be as hard yes. as it was before the accident. <laughs> like, it could have gotten fixed, but wouldn't have been safe. And I got to make sure everybody that drives in this is safe. But it feels like I'm literally in the same car. Like, you know why? So, so, I, it because is. You are. <laughs> it is. This wants to be in race mode because she is very stiff. Is it? Oh, God. I don't think it is. Oh, Let my me put it, God. Let me put it in normal and see if that damn is suspension. I love that it's in the, mo the least aggressive setting right now and it's f***ing so rough. <laughs> like, I'm in a go-kart. Yes. This is like literally painful. Now, when I when I first drove this around, I noticed that the exhaust was a lot louder than I remembered for factory. Um, I don't know if you got to drive it yet, did you? I have not driven this car yet. Like, I don't know. When I got my other one, I'm like, it sounds like a vacuum cleaner. And this one, so that brings up another good point. Like. Do we tune this vehicle? We know how much stress and hassle I went through on the last one. It took a year. That thing had yeah. to get shipped off. Like that car was almost unusable for an entire year and that was horrible. But they have the right tune for it now because a lot of it was trial and error through my last one. We have an exhaust that they actually tuned it to. And the pops I, and bangs were fun. Yes, and I car. love pops and bangs. It's so fun. <laughs> So do you rerun the tune? This car's under warranty. Oh, it's 500 shit. miles. That's I feel right. like we don't mess with it. Didn't you pay 20 or 30 grand for yeah. the warranty? It really just, yeah. I mean, it, it's pretty loud. It's not quiet. Like, it's I loud. Like the car's it's crazy loud enough. enough. And I don't, don't want to deal with check engine lights and I don't know. Yes. I feel like this car doesn't need it. Maybe so. We'll have to figure that out. But you're probably right. It's probably not a good idea, especially because of the warranty. And those warranties are not cheap. Killing lots of birds with lots of stones today. Picking up the Cadillac Escalade that had some recall work done. So where does the Senna rank on your car, like your favorite hypercars right now? I mean, the Senna is top three. It's probably 918 Chiron Senna. 918 Chiron, and those two kind of trade spots depending on what mood I'm in, but usually the 918 prevails. Claren Senna, what's left? The P1, the LaFerrari, and the Pagani? Probably the- The new Pagani's the, nuts. Pagani, yeah. LaFerrari, P1. Is that all the hypers or did I forget one? Oh, I did forget one, the new one. Oh, yes. That, that one, that I'm going to guess that that one is going to rank. That one probably will rank top three. I hope it does. Uh, I hate when people do that. I'm this. so much more on edge driving this car than I am any other car because of the history with the Senna's. That's fair. Did you talk to Print about the gas tank service? Yeah, he said it was done. Okay. Gas tank service was done. It did have a fresh service done. As we mentioned, it's got a two-year warranty on it, so this thing is in good shape, fully PPF. The only thing we really haven't done with it is donuts. That's true. We, we got to do break in this car with some donuts. You give the P1 a hard time because it's so stiff, but yes. this car is equally, if not more stiff. Well, the P1 though, yes, but the P1 also has a feather gas pedal that is obnoxious, so every teeny little bump you hit, it the is such is a gorgeous. reactive gas yeah. that you feel it. And then the seats are really cramped, and then race mode is, is even more stiff than this. Although the seats are a little more padded, the car has no, so when it's in race mode, it's you're driving on nothing. There's no give at all. Yeah, the, the P1 in race mode is like, it's the, like the there's hardest no suspension, suspension I've, I've ever felt in my yeah. life. So this spec or your black and green spec, but what are you choose? They're black, all the same black price, and green, same miles. Black and green. Really? Yes, I love that spec. Which one would you choose? I like the interior a lot on this one. I wish it was Alcantara, but I love all the red, but I'd probably go black and green. That car was fun. It was, and it was owned by Celebrity Dead Mouse. That it was ended a, a teeny the bit. The first hypercar you bought too. 
That's actually true, yes. Like a little nostalgia. There, there's some nostalgia that's jading my opinion. I, I don't know if I would, I feel like I'd still pick that way, but if I if I had never owned either and I was buying, I still think I would get the green one. Yeah. It's, it was bold and tasteful. And like, like this one, you can't do red on the spoiler ends. It would be too much with the calipers, but the other one didn't, like I didn't have green calipers on this on it, right? Yeah, you did not. They're black. Like this one has too much little nuances of red that would have made yeah, who knows? Yeah. We're gonna go to Donuts where we shot fire from the 765 LT and GTR. My favorite part was shooting the fire and we saw someone come out of their backyard. We, we leave immediately, we, we go back five minutes later and there's cops over here. Really? Yes. Time yeah, to do some donuts here, yep. What are you nervous about, bro? I'm not nervous. <laughs> You can feather the gas as you do it. So like between ass. six and eight I can feather RPMs. your ass? Yeah, feather my ass. I know how to do donuts. It was just oh, yeah. feathering his ass. Feathering the gas. <laughs> I told him, like, you don't have to say it all That's that it. I'm like, you just gotta feather it. That's like, it. Okay, then there's ribbon of them. You did. Yeah, That's we, it. we gotta go. <laughs> All right, the Senna is back here at La Casa Hamilton, as it should be. I am so pumped to have this back in the collection. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope that you enjoy the new Senna as much as I do. Also, if you think this is cool, just wait until the next hypercar comes. It's even cooler.